<laughs> um, our first speaker this evening, I'm really delighted to be introducing Yonette Thomas. Yonette is a scientific advisor on urban health to the New York Academy of Medicine. She is senior advisor to the Association of American Geographers, which I really wish I belonged to, even though I'm not at all American or a geographer. <laughs> Public health professor, social epidemiologist, and several other impressive titles. She has published a book on the geography of drug addiction, and she is going to set the scene for us around where mental health fits into urban health. So thank you very much, Yonette. You can actually speak from there, but I should probably give you the thing to advance the slides. Yeah. Um, I have to um, make a confession. So, Layla put my slides together today. So, if I look like I'm, where am I next? That's because I don't know what's on the slides. Um, so, um, I'm an epidemiologist, and um, like a, I was the chief of epidemiology at the National Institute of Drug Abuse. So, um, not the National Institute of Mental Health, but we were very much involved in drug abuse and mental health issues. And that's how it ended up. Um, my association with the geographer started when I was at NIMH, I mean at NIA, um, NIDA at NIH, because it, there was always a concern about my interest as a social epidemiologist is in social context and the environment, and what role the environment plays in in our health and well-being. And since I did drugs at the time, I don't do drugs anymore, um, I was very interested in that parallel, that connection to drugs, drug use and mental health. So, um, and now that I'm, once I left the NIH, I um, kept hanging around with geographers because I'm interested in the, their geospatial techniques we talk about the built environment, and I want to talk about walkability issues and how you make the environment appropriate for health and well-being of people. And um, National Cat uh, the New York Academy of Medicine became very interested in this because they have they are the secretariat for the International Society on Urban Health, and I think this is where um, let's see if I, um, uh, Leila got got wind of me. So the International Society of Urban Health, which um, is housed in the New York Academy of Medicine, is really interested in anything related to the health and well-being of people in urban environments. And yes, it's in the developing countries, but it focuses heavily on the lower and middle income countries around the world. So for example, we just had our first uh, uh, our annual meeting in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And um, uh, Dhaka is kind of the poster child for um, urban, urban development um, gone mad, for want of a better word. Um, people are moving, uh, there, there are I think 15 million people in the city of Dhaka, and Dhaka is not ready for those people. So um, urbanization is happening, infrastructure is happening while that's occurring. And one of the pieces, as an epidemiologist, of course I focus on disease and, and general health. But what gets lost in all of this is the well-being and the mental health of the people. Um, so just to back up a little bit, part of the International Society of Urban Health is this wonderful journal um, on, on, um, on urban health. And I, re I recommend that you guys, uh, anyone here doing mental health work, become familiar with this journal because not a lot is published on mental health per se. And in fact, after talking to Layla, I think we should really do a supplement on mental health in urban environments. So stay tuned and send us notes at the Academy. We would love to hear from you. Um, so here's the DACA meeting. This is kind of, thank you, Layla, for um, the quick program. Um, it, it focused on, on sustainable development because it linked itself to the United Nations um, uh, focus on sustainable development around the world. But what's really interesting in all of the, the, um, the um, resolutions, there's nothing specifically pertaining to mental health separately. Um, we talk about disease, infectious disease, which makes sense. Um, we talk about chronic disease epidemiology, which makes sense. But mental health epidemiology and um, mental health and well-being sort of lags behind. Um, uh, take, for example, this conference, we had a number of papers that were presented from um, air, people in Latin America who wanted to talk about the mental health and well-being of people in cities, 
mental health and well-being of people um, um, with different gendered perspectives, um, a whole range of, of mental health focused um, uh, perspectives, but we couldn't get funding to have them come. So against much to my chagrin, um, we had planned a whole session around mental health, but that got watered down because we couldn't, we couldn't travel those people, because it wasn't a primary issue. So this continues to be a struggle. Um, even for an August um, organization like the International Society of Urban Health. Um, health in general, but mental health specifically, is, all, is lost in, 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 the, um, in the waves. So basically, um, you can see here, the DACA conference focused on gender and urbanization health, urban health in low and middle income countries, barriers to success, a lot of system science, but even system science involves mental health because our, our total soma here includes our brains. Um, and um, my, old, my former institute director, Nora Volkov, always says, the brain matters, Yonet. And if the brain doesn't work, the rest of your body won't. So, um, so it's a, it continues to be a challenge. Chronic diseases are important. But um, we need to focus on mental health more. Um, and um, here is more on the kinds of things. Urban dwellers also face physical and mental health issues linked to safety, violence, poverty, and unemployment. Those are real things, um, especially in a place like Bangladesh. And I come from British Diana, former British colony, Diana, South America. And mental health issues are real for people, um, but it's not talked about. They, 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 it's hush, you know, you don't discuss it. I remember saying to my mother, well, I was meeting with my, my psychiatrist, and she says, oh my goodness, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so that's the thinking. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's somehow not part of our normal health, and it has to be. Um, so we are continuing. Part of this call for recognition of urban health as a priority in sustainable, sustainable development, we're pushing the United Nations to also include mental health in the language. You can check the language. They talk about well-being, but mental health specifically, no. Um, so that's the DACA conference. I know I have five minutes. How am I doing? It's about five minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so there. And I'll answer any questions. <laughs>